Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll be discussing about what is distal BERT. So basically, uh, uh, again a variant of uh, the actual BERT model. As the BERT model was very heavy and also has a very high inference time, so there are certain variants uh, that has been developed to cope that up, keeping the performance almost the same. So before jumping onto distal BERT, let me tell you the feature of distal BERT. It is 60% faster than the original BERT. Uh, it is 40% smaller in size. Uh, most uh, like a number of layers have been reduced, though the dimension of the Output remains the same, 768. I think you need to uh, go back to my BERT video to understand how BERT works. And uh, in the end of the day, um, the results that are developed by uh, Distal BERT is 97% similar to that of original BERT. Uh, so the accuracy is almost the same. So let's understand what is Distal BERT. So Distal BERT is based on the concept of knowledge distillation. Knowledge distillation I've already explained in a previous video, so you can go and watch it. So it's basically an idea that uh, we would be training out a bigger model uh, called as a teacher model, and we're trying to convey its learning to a very small model called as a uh, student model. So in this way, the student model uh, it becomes very less in size, has a high, uh, has a very low inference time, also matching almost the same performance as of the teacher bird. So let's understand uh, the architecture of a distal bird. So uh, assume that we have a sentence where is the beautiful mask. Uh, you need to go back and refer to a bird video to understand everything. And I, I'm assuming, like this video, I'm assuming that you already have uh, knowledge about bird. Now, uh, the teacher bird, uh, the input goes to both the birds. Uh, one is teacher bird, another is student bird. The student bird would be called as a distill bird. So, a distill bird that, uh, that is actually we are talking about. So, eventually, it's a student bird that would be using in the end of the day after training. Uh, now, uh, using softness temperature equals to 2, we will be getting soft target and soft predictions as I discussed in my previous video for knowledge distillation. Uh, that would be helpful in calculating distillation loss. And similarly for uh, hard target and hard predictions, uh, we, would be, uh, we would be replacing the soft max temperature function with soft max for the student bird. Getting hard predictions and hard target. Hard target is nothing but uh, rounding off for soft target values that we are getting for the teacher bird. That would be forming a student loss, and this would be getting optimized. So, teacher bird is nothing but bird base. Uh, so, you can go refer to my previous blog or my previous video on bird and understand what is a bird base model, uh, and which is trained on the MLM task that is mass language modeling, recognizing mass tokens. If you remember, now the second part is uh, the student bird has um, some layers less than the teacher bird, and is not is not uh, pre-trained at all. So, it's the first time it is seeing any data. Uh, the distillation loss and student loss have been explained very clearly in a previous video. So I think this would be uh, wrapping up uh, distilled but for now.